Hello, everyone. It's already near. With a uh, impromptu uh, figure to haul. As you can see right here, got myself some Dragon Ball figures today. Uh, went a little bit shopping. Well, not shopping. I went to drop some stuff at the storage at my storage unit just to put stuff away uh, with family, and then we stopped by Target just to pick up some stuff, uh, some you know, a little bit of groceries and whatnot. And I decided to like go check out the anime section at Target. Uh, though not my regular Target, this is another Target. It's a little bit messy, but I was looking around, seeing what they had, and hey. I did get the other two figures I did mention when I was reviewing Gogeta. So we did get our hands on the Ultra Instinct signed Goku. It's a pretty nice. I'm pretty sure this is Goku when he first uh, showed the signs of getting Ultra Instinct. I don't remember when this happened in the uh, Dragon Ball Super, but I'll probably go back and figure that out. Probably before I do, whenever I do this review for this one. Then we got Super Saiyan Trunks, which I do, this is two versions of this one that I have. Which is basically this um, Dragon Ball Evolve version. And then technically I do have Dragon Ball Star Series version of uh, Future Trunks. Oh bro, not a bad figure. Artwork's pretty nice. Looking good. You'll see the review for this one as well later down the line as well. Probably going to try to do all of these. Uh, hopefully this October. And then we get Vegeta. Or Super Saiyan Vegeta. This right here is technically a Target exclusive. Though, let's be honest. I don't know how much of a Target exclusive it is, but I guess for in the meantime right now, you can probably get this big, uh, figure at Target. This is Super Saiyan Vegeta. This is him during the Broly movie. Uh, what's it called? You can see right there, his hair is a little bit more uh, see-through reflective. So it's not like solid. It's not like solid like the other hairs from everybody else. This one's a little bit more uh, translucent see-through. He's got a couple hand figures there overall. Uh, I was hoping... Because in the, uh, I was hoping, I was hoping to find the Majin version of Vegeta, but I guess I'll probably have to find that one, either online or whatnot, but overall, not a bad figure. I'm actually kind of glad I got all these, uh, today, because, uh, yesterday when I made the review for Gogeta one, I was like, I think I mentioned where, I was like, I kind of regretted not getting these, so, today, when I went back, or when I went, I was like, you know what, it's either I get them now, or I don't get them later, and they get taken, and they get taken, and then trying to find them is like a hassle, so... I'm glad I got these great figures. Price wise, once again, uh, both the Dragon Ball Ball figures are ten bucks each, so not a bad price if you need. Ever starting out your collection, the Dragon Ball Star series. This is twenty bucks. Again, not bad at all for price wise, especially for certain Dragon Ball figures and whatnot. Overall, good figures. Uh, I will be reviewing these again somewhere around this month or in November, depending. Uh, but with that out of the way, this is my quick uh, figure loot hole, my Dragon Ball loot hole. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, please leave a like, comment, subscribe if you like the videos. And as always, have a nice day, folks. This is I, Power Arden, signing out, and I'll see you guys on the next one.